Okay, boys and girls, technical update on why I haven't driven this piece of crap for over a week. The struts fell apart. I told you how much I hated them and they were no good for off-roading. So these are my factory original replacement struts I bought at the Auto Wreckers from SNL Auto Wreckers in London. <sighs> that I actually had to spend money on the car. Oh my god, I spent 70 bucks to buy a pair of those struts. That's why I'm sighing. It hurts. It hurts so much. But anyways, it was undrivable with the way it was, and these ones fell apart, so I'll show you in a second. If you look down that hole, you see light. You're supposed to see a nut. You're supposed to be a bearing and a nut attached to that rubber. Well, they let go. On a strut, on the top you have the mounting plate, which is also a bearing. Well, that came completely separated. So now it just sort of bounces around in there and goes all over the place. Oh my god. People thought I had the struts cranked up too hard to make it ride that hard and bouncy. Well, that's how high I had them cranked. I even had almost an inch of play. And they're not even attached to the top pocket, so let's get busy. So how many cars have you helped me fix, Adam, since you're my son? 706. Did you ever get your hands dirty? Fucking right. Ha ha. Well, let's fix your first car. Yeah. Okay. Remove the wheel. There's the gun. Do you know how to put that thing on reverse? Push that button backwards. Okay. Get her done. Oh, <laughs> You're 21 years old. You should have been used one of those for a year, for a year already. Come on, maybe more. Well, everyone, this is the first time he's ever helped me fix a car. Are you? No, not. You've helped me push brake pedals before and bleed brakes. I've helped you fix cars before in the garage. What'd you do? Stuff. Bunch of stuff. Do any motor changes? Clutches? No. Come on. All the now we're removing the clevis bolts. <coughs> Bottom one. <coughs> Alrighty. Now we remove the top three nuts that hold the bearing plate on. Look at all that free diesel and gas mix that guy gave me. Sweet. No, you use the hand wrench. It's perfect. Now knock out those bolts you just removed down at the bottom. Just hit them and knock them out. Hit them hard. There you go. Now give that big black plate on the top a whack. That's good. All right. Now give the strut a whack that way. Straight with the strut. Yeah. All righty. You got the power. Now drop it on the floor and let it show how it falls apart. Slam it on the floor. How come this didn't fall off? There. That's what I mean. That's a broken strut. See, you can see the dents all over the place. That was just jumping out of the pocket and bouncing all over in the car and throwing all the alignment out. Now, if anybody wants to buy those stupid things off me, they can. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't like them for off-roading. Come on, doing your job. <laughs> Someone's got the caliper flipped over wrong, so the brake line is a twist in it. There. A little more, a little tighter. Get the round peg in the round hole. Just kidding. Now you can see what was happening. Well, this thing was driving. 
steering wheel is like jumping out of your hands and pulling to one side. This thing is just bouncing up and down and flopping all over sideways. Glad to see it gone. That looks a hell of a lot better. Sitting nice and high now. All ready for off-roading. Sweet.